Welcome back to the Wood and Metal Workshop. We're getting back to work on the body work on the 2001 Chevy 2500 HD. Uh, we got to weld in the uh, outer rocker. Uh, still have to get that fitted. I haven't done that yet. But first thing up and problem I was having with some of the other welding was that I was using 035 wire and it's a little thick. Too much voltage. Bur it burns through a lot. I do have a spool of uh, 023 wire that I had picked up to do this project. Now, I don't do a whole lot of body work and sheet metal work, so I didn't have it on hand, but I picked it up. And sometime over the last 25 years since I've last used 023 wire, I lost the uh, drive roller for 023 wire. So had to wait about a week and uh, ordered this in for my local welding supply. They got the roller for me, so I'm going to show how to uh, switch over the spool and uh, we'll get some welding done or fitting and then welding so be right back all right first thing we have to do is uh, stretch out the leads so I'm gonna get the lead stretched out here get the ground out of the way this works much better if you have it nice and straight so, going to uh, cut there, take the little ball off the end, remove the contact tip. Spares. This is an O23 tip, so got that ready. I'm gonna lay this out. Make sure you get a good view of it here. Try to stay out of the way of the camera. So first thing to do is release the drive. A lot of guys will just cut this off and pull it out of the gun. I don't think it takes that much work to roll it backwards and that's uh, 12 feet of wire that I can use for something else. Now hold on to this. If you let go, it's going to bird's nest on you and make a big mess. So you take it and let's give it a wrap around. Okay. Next I'm going to remove the drive roller. Uh, here's the, this one's 035, 045. Or I should say it's a uh, yeah, this one's 035, 045. The new one is 030, 35 on one side and 23, 25 on the other side. Put my little plastic adapters in here. Okay, on this one, the drive side that you're using goes to the outside. there too. Slip that in. Thread the wing nut back in. Actually I guess this is a wing bolt. Lift this out. All right, on this machine, it has a drive roller that comes out. Set that one to the side.
put our drive roller back in. Then we'll set it back in the machine. Cut the crooked part off. Making sure you don't let go of it. Slip it in. Okay, it's not going to come back out now. Turn the power on. And I'm going to step over to the other end and bring the feed the wire through. And I'll let you guys watch the come off the spool here. Looks like it's feeding nicely. You want to keep an eye on it while you're feeding it through because if it gets caught in the liner, it can make a big mess. Especially with this thinner wire. There, we got it fed all the way through the gun. You can see it coming out there. So now we're just going to snip this off again, put our contact tip on, I like to give it a little snug, our nozzle's clean, ready to go, slide that back on, we're good to go, I'm going to grab a piece of sheet metal and give it a little test run here. So. How you change out the uh, wire on an SP a Lincoln SP uh, 250? <laughs> this is an old machine, so but all the machines are pretty much the same as far as how you change out the wire on them. Um, like I said, I've got this is this is designed to take 35 pound spools or the 10 pound spools, so that's where we're at, and uh, let's get some welding done. Just got a little piece of sheet metal here. Well, I'm going to quickly take the paint off of it. Grab my hood. And a glove, and we're just gonna that all looks good. Just gonna run it a little bit to get the gas to the end. And we're just gonna give a couple of little test welds here just to make sure that it's set right and play with the settings so we know what, what we want when we get over on the, on the truck. That looks a little cold.
Okay, I know we're not going to be doing, I know we're not going to be doing any uh, <laughs> weld beads on the uh, truck. We're going to be doing a series of, of tack welds, but I just like to play around with it a little bit, make sure that it's set hot enough where it's going to do get a good penetration. We're going to get uh, a full weld, and uh, so we're going to give it another shot here with a couple tack welds. Take a look at those. Uh, see, that's still a little cold. Um, let's try bumping up the voltage here just a little bit. We're at 15.9. Well, let's try 16.5. Those look a little bit better, but not quite where I want to be. There we go. That's where I, that's what kind of what I want to have here, so you can see it right there. It's uh, these last two flat ones right there. So that's kind of what we're looking for. So we got that set up. I'm gonna check to see what my settings are on the machine. And we're at 17.2 volts and 159 inches a minute. So, all right, there's the process for setting up machine to do some sheet metal work. Now, if I was doing beads, I would probably um, lower the voltage down a little bit but since I'm doing tacks and this is the kind of tack that I want um, we're gonna go a little bit hotter on the voltage um, I might uh, play with the wire speed a little bit as we get into the process and the voltage but that's a good starting base starting for what we the thickness of metal we're working with and the kind of bead profile or tack profile that we want so as you can see it's these last two right here got good full penetration all the way through so that's exactly what we're looking for. So got our machine set up and uh, we'll be back when we get ready to do some more body work. Thanks for watching.